Secrets for women. How to seduce a man. Men are generally of a rational nature, while women are more emotional. So to be able to seduce a man, you must know how to handle time and space. Men generally start a relationship with great vigor, trying to seduce and conquer a woman, and they do this first part very well. What is difficult is to maintain that first interest. The way to seduce a man is to be able to handle the time and space properly, and that is the key to the issue. Not to exceed in excessive love manifestations, not to be excessively sweet. The woman should be able to control her excess of anxiety. She must not harass the man. If you feel that you have met the love of your life, let him take the first two steps before you take one. Allow him, little by little, to begin to connect himself with a relationship. If you send a text message, wait for the response. Do not exceed yourself with any mails or text messages. Give him the necessary time to return the message. It is no use to put more pressure with more messages. Bombarding the person with mails or text messages is completely useless and causes a complete loss of interest. The best way is to wait for that person to open up naturally. Even though at certain times, especially when they are very close, Men can say or promise a lot. You must always be conscious that those promises can be connected with their passion and desire at that moment. So what really counts are the facts rather than the words, especially if those promises were conditioned by a strong sexual urge and above all during the sexual act. The only way not to become a victim of their desire and not to fall into an excess of anxiety, which is quite frequent when a woman falls in love, is for women to have their own lives and not to depend completely on the man. They should have their own independence and autonomy. In short, they should have their own lives, their own space and their own interests. They must continue going out with their friends and with their daily lives. In this way, the man should always feel that he must go on conquering her. Let us not forget that she is the one to say yes to a relationship and not him. Now, in many cases, the roles have been inverted. And finally, what happens is that the one who says yes or no is the man himself. As he, in the first place, starts by seducing the woman, when he finally achieves this, he relaxes, loses interest, and she is the one who ends up feeling anxious and insecure, waiting for him to finally make a decision. She ends up being a victim of an emotional manipulation and expecting to receive his approval. So she must always take into account her own worth and her high self-esteem. If she feels diminished in front of him, she will always be in need of his acceptance once and again. So this situation will weigh against her and he will end up going away. When the man in question feels that he already has her acceptance permanently and starts taking her for granted, there will not exist any stimulation for him. Nobody desires what they already have, so it is fundamental to maintain the flame of passion burning so that the sexuality and strong femininity must always be present. The man should always feel that feminine power. Femininity consists of seduction, personal charm, and also the importance of self-esteem and the pride of that which is attained by themselves. They must not project all their life burden in one spot, because if they do, that spot will end by breaking up. No person wants to carry another one's cross. The better women are with themselves, the better they will be with others in all areas of life, including their own partner. Then their partner will feel proud of them and will always remain by their side. So, at that crucial moment, the woman will think, and do I want to be with him? That is the feminine power. The decision will depend only on you.